Presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. You didn't expect to see us, but we're back. I'm Lance. This is Eddie George. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah, Eddie Chan is alive and well. It always yes. will be. This is playoff edition. We made it, uh, my man. We made it. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. What a present, right? Wow. Another, another day of, of Titans football. What a this game. Weekend. What, what a, a game. game. Man. Oh, awesome. but moment of silence for uh, Eddie's rushing record at Ohio State. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, but hey, so, you know, it had to go down. Listen, and... hey, it's, it, 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 I, I'm glad it went down in that fashion. <laughs> I wish we got, got the dub with it. Yeah. Uh, but J.K. Dobbs, what a phenomenal young athlete. Yeah, Hopefully, he, you know, you never, he'll be on the next level he somewhere. He declared, so he's coming So out. we'll see, but yeah. yeah. Oh, you had to bring that I up. I did, oh, I'm this sorry. Is I'm dab sorry. in the heart. Ouch. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's kick off the show and do what we do. And right now, let's do... Uh, Four downs with Eddie and talk about this game. Yes. Uh, what a game it was. Uh, you know, we had to get it done, and we got it done in, in what a fashion. Uh, first down, mm -hmm. I mean, crown the man, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Henry gets his crown. Yeah. yeah. He owns the title for 2019, the rushing title. We all loved it, but nobody loved it more uh, than his teammates. Check this out. He needs 53 like, for 1500. He needs 48 for the title. Oh, we gotta get that for the rushing title. All right, hold me. Go. Okay, all right, Let go. Let's go. You did it, buddy. You did it. This is a special moment for him, and it's a special moment for this football team. What a great job they did to get to this point this year through a lot of trials and tribulations. So there you go, uh, Derek Henry, the rushing leader of 2019. Yes. Teams loving it. Big night. Uh, look at that, man, with the crown on him. Uh, 211 yards on 32 carries. Whoo! <sighs> He it did it in monster. grand fashion. Yeah. And the final run to get oh, to go over that 53-yarder, yeah. like a walk-off home run. He was. And, I mean, listen, the guy's been having a fantastic year going back to 2018. Yeah. Uh, just been phenomenal. The best back in the league, in my opinion, talent-wise, mm -hmm. and certainly now with the rushing title. Um, it's only going to get better for him. And, you know, to, to win a rushing title, what that means for any running back, mm -hmm. that is huge. That's something in my nine-year nine-year career I've never accomplished. I've been third, second, fourth. Hard to fourth, believe, but yeah. But it's it's tough to do. Yeah. And to do that in the last game of the year when everything was on the line, mm -hmm. you had to punch a ticket to get in the NFL. I mean, to get in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, certainly to win the Russian record and all of that yeah. is a huge deal. And we know that we lean on King Henry. Yeah to get the job done for the Titans, for this office to go. So uh, kudos to him, man. That is a great, great accomplishment. Absolutely. Also, too, hey, if we're going to hand out some crowns, crown Tannehill, too, because what a season yeah. Ryan Tannehill yeah. has yeah. coming in yeah. off the bench. Yeah. Uh, he finished 117.5, uh, uh, highest QBR rating in the league. Highest QBR rating in the league. That guy right there, uh, he was number one in uh, first down completions 
uh, 44.1 percent. Uh, number one in yards uh, per completion, 9.6. The yeah. Tennessee Titans are a vertical threat, pushing the ball down what? the field. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Ryan Tannehill is exactly what Vrabel said they were looking for when they made the change. We're just looking for a spark, and he provided it. Listen, again, you know, when you have a second chance mm -hmm. at, at life and your career, yeah. he took full, is taking full advantage of it. It seems like the man, every time he steps on the field, it's – a chance to celebrate, a chance yeah. to appreciate where he is and not take it for granted. Yeah. Not saying he didn't have that in Miami, but now it's like a new life, new team, new situation, and you can see he's playing with a sense of joy, and guys are feeding off of that. So every time he's going out there, it's for a purpose. Every play, every chance. It's, it's awesome to see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. One guy he's feeding it to, third down right here. Uh, this guy should get the rookie crown. That's right. Uh, A.J. Brown has had a phenomenal season. Uh, yeah, he's worth a round of applause. Absolutely. The man's earned it. Uh, you know, another big night, four for 124. And that catch right there that set up this Derrick Henry touchdown. I mean, that's unbelievable stuff yeah, right there. Likely, I mean, that has to be like a 6% chance of him catching a ball yeah, like that. Yeah. But here again, you know, the run after catch. His, his kid, big play potential. He continues mm -hmm. to impress us with raw talent. Yeah. Wait until he really gets yeah. skilled at his craft yeah. in terms of setting up his routes, seeing coverage, manipulating a defense, yeah. getting faster, stronger in the offseason, really having your hands yeah. and the chemistry with the quarterback. With Tannehill. Uh, with Tannehill. I yeah. mean, this kid... The sky's the limit. You know, yeah. I, I want to say he's he's going to be an all-pro, future all-pro here in uh, the next few years for the Titans. The whole team, A.J. Brown included, just mm -hmm. getting hot at the right time, yep. coming together, finding their chemistry at the right time, moving yep. on to uh, to fourth down. We'll talk about the other gems that were in this game. Uh, the Marcus's throw oh. to A.J. Brown was something to see that put him over 1,000 yards. That was nice to see. Uh, Jarrell Casey was a game wrecker. Yep. Uh, on the field, these guys were getting after it. Uh, Bayard, ball hawking, getting that interception. You know, I mean, look, of course, yeah, we put 35 points on them. They say, yeah, well, they didn't play their starters and they didn't have any play for it. Well, if that's the case, then this is the kind of game you should put up on exactly. a team like that. They, they, they did, did exactly what they, what they were supposed to do. Yeah. And all the pressure was on the Titans coming into this game. Yeah. They could have easily laid an egg, yeah. came out there flat, just saying, man, we don't know what, what we're doing. We don't know how to play football. Yeah, but right. they came out and they went out and did the, their, their job. They were locked and loaded. They were focused. And they went in there with the intention to get a victory. They did just that. Yeah, and well, it was nice to see, too, very comforting to watch mm -hmm. a 15-play a 15, a 15 drive from the Texans unfold at first. You're like, wait, what, what, what's happening? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. full control. The Titans full were control. still in full control. Yeah, 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 so it was good to see. It was a good game. All right, we got lots more to talk about, but you know 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. So with that, we go to break with our guy, Cole Fast 15. But stick around. we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. We'll be right back. Tannehill, play fake, sprints out to his right, fires back toward the middle, ball caught. Touchdown, Titans! Looking, he has all day. He throws deep downfield. The pass is caught. AJ caught it at the one. And the pass is intercepted on a deflection. Fired. Fired makes a great pick. Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Now halftime on the show. So, uh, Eddie, I got a question for you. You know, mm. we, got a, we got a big game coming up. Yes, sir. Saturday, kind of like a, a heavyweight fight. Uh -huh. Speaking of heavyweight fights, we asked this uh, question to our Titans players, which we'll get to in a minute, but I'm going to ask you, Muhammad Ali mm. or Mike Tyson? Ooh. 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 This might cause Great, fights. In greatest of all time? I, I oh. I got to go but with. I, uh, I don't know. Just, but just I'm throwing. Mo I'm Ali throwing Muhammad, Tyson. the greatest of all time. Right. I got to go with Mike Tyson. Iron Mike. Iron black Mike. Shoes, black, no socks, <laughs> shorts. It's the towel over the neck. Okay. It's going, in, man. He was a bull. Yeah. He 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 said to one guy that he wanted to take his his the bridge of his nose and put it through his brain. I, I, That's how lethal, and he could do it. I believe he was being sincere. Yes. Uh, he tried to do it many times. People paid to watch that, actually. Uh, here's what uh, our Titans had to say about that very question in this week's This or That, sponsored by Snickers. Oh. Mike Tyson. Uh. 
I'm going with Iron Mike. I just, I don't know, I just like Mike Tyson. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Ali. Ooh, Mike Tyson. I gotta pick one? Can I pick both? I mean, well, I, I like both. I mean, Muhammad Ali is more uh, finesse, and Mike Tyson um, or is more of a beast, like knockout king, but I like them both. But I say Muhammad Ali just because of the respect and all the things he's done. Muhammad, I mean, Mike was a beast, but Muhammad. Who do you go with? Yeah, all right, you know, uh, who do you like? I, I got to lean I, with with his story, with all that happened, Ali. But in the ring? It, we're talking in the ring it, Just now. in the ring, I guess I lean to Tyson because right. I'm just fearful. Yeah. This game coming up kind of reminds me of Ali Tyson in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Patriots with all yeah. the rings, they're, yeah. they got that yeah. Ali thing happening. But I think we're very dangerous, right? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Mean? Yeah. With a knockout punch waiting to happen? Could we be the Buster Douglas in could, this situation? Could we? Oh, could we, be we could be. Douglas? I think they fear that. I, yeah, I, I think so too, but we'll see. This this feels like a heavyweight it does, fight, it though. It does. I'm it excited really about does, it. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about it on the other side. By the way, uh, Ali or Tyson, yell it out. It, it's mixed here. It's mixed here. Hey, we're going to talk about this game coming up on the other side. Stick around. We've got more Titans blitz all the way. Got to get this. Back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance. He's Eddie. It is now the two-minute warning here on the show. we got to talk about this game coming up, this oh-so-big wild card game up in Foxborough. Yes, sir. Playoffs, baby. Playoffs? You're talking about playoffs? Yes, we are. Um, all right, first key to, to victory against this team. I think, I think we have to be aggressive because the Pats are vulnerable, right? They appear to be extremely vulnerable appear. Uh, offensively speaking. Okay. I mean, listen, you can throw that game right there. You're watching the highlight, the Dolphins mm -hmm. out the way. You're okay. not going to see that version okay. of the Patriots. Okay. I think the biggest thing for the Titans outside of the obvious and being physical and mm -hmm. tempo and all of that is the mental game. Oh. Is going into Foxborough. Okay. Because it's tough to beat them in Foxborough. There's a lot to overcome with the mystique with the Super Bowls, with Belichick and Brady. You know, Brady comes running out full speed and does the fist pump and mm -hmm. the fans go crazy and there's the fireworks and all of that. You can get caught into all that. But I think the Titans, based off of Mike Vrabel being from the culture, uh, they played them before. They know they can beat yeah. them before. So just going up there is a different animal yeah. altogether, especially in the playoffs. So never mind the fact that their offense is anemic this season. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Don't think about it. Don't, that's not even part of your – That's where they can lull you to sleep. You know, mm -hmm. you think, oh, they're not going to go out and do it. And then the, you see Edelman just go right. berserk, and then everything just comes together for them at the right time. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very cautious from yeah. a mental perspective not to get distracted by that. Go in there with the game plan. You have everything you need. Mm -hmm. You got a great run, mm -hmm. a great, great running offense, mm -hmm. um, an outstanding defense, an opportunity defense, and special teams. Yeah. You take those three things on the road, you can you stay the course and you don't get distracted one way or the other. If things go your way early or, yeah. or not, or they go go bad or, or one way or not. You just gotta stay the course and stay locked in on the on the, on the finish line. So uh, second key here, uh, pick your poison, uh, Henry or Brown, but maybe that's just it. If they're picking their poison, Henry or Brown, maybe that's where Tajay has an ah, epic game. Right? There you yeah. go. It's yeah. the other it's the other pieces and parts of the puzzle is uh, uh, Janu uh, Smith. Yeah. He's going to be a key factor for me in this game. Yeah. The wild card, the okay. matchup issue uh, in the middle of the field for Tanny Hill to get downfield is going to be pass protection up front. They're going to try to blitz Tanny Hill all day long. They're going to try yeah. to pressure him. That's where he struggles. So it's going to be key for them to get the ball out early, yeah. get John who involved, get him offset, get him off balance. Because mm -hmm. the key, they're going to lock, they're going to try to lock Derek down. He had sure. 200 yards. He's a leading rusher. Yeah. Everything runs through him. So they're going to try to stop the run, limit Brown on the outside. So it's going to take for guys like John Smith and the other receivers to get involved to take pressure off of those two. And I feel up. like that's going to be key throughout the yeah. playoffs. I mean, and that's that's what New England has done for years. Yeah. It's get everybody involved. Yeah. Uh, so that's key here. Well, uh, third uh, key, control. You've mentioned this already, but control that tempo offensively and be physical uh, you know, on defense. But Brady's got to stay on the bench. 
Brady's got to be on the ground. <laughs> you know, he's not on the bench. He's got to be on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And, and hopefully I'm praying that they're like, if he gets hit too hard, a, a flag won't come out. Oh, it's, you know, yeah. roughing the passer. Mm-hmm. But that's another story. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, he's, they've got to make him feel uncomfortable. He, they can't allow him to yeah. get time to mm-hmm. find his receivers. They've got to get him off his mark. When they get him off of his mark, they've got to take him down and take him down hard mm-hmm. and often. So that's going to be the key. And watch out for the screen game. Mm-hmm. Because if you try to pressure Brady, they'll walk him that. They'll hit a dump screen to the tight end. They'll hit a, yeah. a quick screen to the receiver or to the running back. Their screen game is very, very good. So you've yeah. got to be careful of that. And I'll also say, I'll also say uh, the Titans need to be ready to adapt to the tempo of the Patriots because I remember last playoff game in New England after we beat the Chiefs, yeah. we came out and scored. But then what did they do? They, they went to a hurry-up offense yeah. and they moved the ball. And we're banged up on the back end of the secondary. Right. It's going to be key. So... We There's are, yeah. but Adoree Jackson practiced in full today, so that was good That's to good see. Uh, Adoree. So, yeah. Yes. We need every yes. bit of defense we can get. Yep. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. It is, but it's the playoffs. It's the playoffs. It's, it's got to be. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Why not go up to the defending champions yeah. in their place and get a victory in wild card weekend? Yeah. Great, great yeah. way to start there, right? Yeah. Great way to start 2000. Play a giant 2020, maybe. Right? You know what? I want to ask you more about that on the other side. Hey, guys, stick around. we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. This is playoff edition, baby. And I like that. Welcome back to Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It is now <laughs> overtime here on the show and time for our Wendy's hot take of the week. We've talked about this a little bit, Eddie, already. Uh, we've got a big game coming up, obviously, mm-hmm. this wild card game in New England. But for the rookies and for the vets who have never had a playoff game, Ryan Tannehill, Mm-hmm. The pressure going into this game, how do they take this as just another game? Oh, it's not how do just, they do well, it? first of all, it's not just another game. And nation's watching. The nation's watching. It's the playoffs. Mm-hmm. This is what you, what you compete for all year long, just to punch your ticket mm-hmm. to get a seat at the table to fight for a championship. So how do you it's mentally success. get ready Men- for that? Mentally, you, you take it on. Yeah. You, you embrace it. Okay. I mean, you're excited. It's Christmas morning. It's Christmas Day it's in football terms. It really is because it's a gift. Yeah. So now you have to go out there. You have to fight for it. Yeah. So um, the, 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 the good thing is that this coaching staff, they're used to being in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Dean Pease, Mike Vrabel, he's, yeah. one, he's from New England. He understands the culture. Yeah. He knows how to prepare for these types of games. So uh, it's, for the rookies, just, just embrace the moment. Keep your playbook playbook with you at all times. Yeah. Don't leave it in the hotel room and don't take it in the locker room in New England. That's what you don't want to do. Yeah. So that's first. Well, thing. New England would never do anything. Of shady. course, would not. never. They don't. They would not. No deflate game. No, no filming of the sidelines, no. calls, none of that. So, <laughs> but it's something that you should definitely embrace and enjoy the moment of playing in the playoff game because it is really really a, a privilege to play. Now, see, it's interesting to hear you say that. I don't like hearing you say that because you just hear so many coaches yeah. talk about, well, it's got to be business as usual and they just need to see this game. But how can you not? And, you know, you've been in this situation. You know what it's like. So you say embrace it, embrace oh, it, absolutely. own it. Let Bring it, it on. Let it yeah, feed you. Let that energy, because it's, it's an exciting time. Yeah. I mean, when you just think it's another game, well, there is no, there's no next week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to approach it with a sense of urgency. You have mm-hmm. to fight for it. Mm-hmm. And my, my first playoff game in this state, Stadium against the Buffalo Bills was just not another game. Yeah. And and when the ball went through the uprights for the Buffalo Bills and with 16 seconds left, I'm sitting on the sidelines wondering, damn, this was the worst loss I've ever felt in my career. You were already feeling that with the 16 seconds? Yes. I was I was 50 yards behind you and I knew we were gonna win. Did you really? I just knew it. You just felt it. I was with my dad. Yes, I felt it. <laughs> yeah. So but you understand but what I'm I, saying yeah, though, right? That, that, but that's the energy, that's the excitement, the love and the, the whole uh, energy of the, being in the playoffs. So Eddie says embrace it. You hear that? Embrace, embrace it. it. Everybody, I know we're going to embrace it. I know who's going to embrace it. The Titans fans are going to embrace it. Uh, there's a watch party happening here. If you're here in Nashville, you got to be at this place. Wild Horse Saloon happening for the game. Uh, there's going to be giveaways. Ooh. T-Rex there. Cheerleaders there. Blue Crew. Drumline will be there. I'll be there. Uh, I think they're, I'm serving drinks. I don't know. I'm nice. Uh, it's going to be a good time, though. <laughs> It's going to be a good time. So uh, come be with all your Titans friends and fans and make some noise and uh, bring that energy and send all that energy up to New England. What a game it's going to be. Guys, we made made the playoffs, baby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That is what I'm talking about. We gotta keep this energy going. I wanna do this again and talk about Baltimore. We will. And that's another animal. That is another that animal. We have to take on. I wanna yeah, talk about that. I can't believe it, but we did it. What a season it has been. Yes. God, I love this team. We gotta tighten up, y'all, right? Yeah! yeah. Bring that noise. How are we gonna do it? Let's do this, y'all. Playoffs, baby. My friend, good to see you. I'll see you guys at the Wild Horse. Tighten up, y'all. Tighten up. Let's do it.